loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the new MAC collection, Powder Kiss collection. We have the eyeshadows and the liquid lip colors. I'm so excited, you guys, because MAC sent me the whole collection. I already opened up everything, but thank you, MAC. I truly appreciate it. I'm, like, so thrilled because I have every single color. So I'm going to be doing swatches of all of the lip shades. Of course, we're going to be creating this look. And I'm going to tell you guys my overall thoughts on the collection at the end of the video. So with that being said, let's just get started, you guys. Alrighty, my love. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to start by showing you guys the shadows. So here we have uh, Best of Me which is just like a vanilla cream shade. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that real quick. Put it right here, so that's best of me. Next up, we have Strike a Pose, which is the one that I'm really interested in. It's this kind of like peachy shade. So that's best of me right there. I'm going to give you guys proper swatches um, later on. This is What Clout, and it's just like kind of like soft brown for MAC. It's like the perfect warm tone, like all over shade for your lid or as a crease color. So that's that right there. Now I'm going to grab So Hot right now, which this shade is a gorgeous. It's like, it's like a corally. Um, brown shade currently reddish shade I would say so pretty next up we have devoted to chili which is like a red brick type of shade it's really really pretty so that's devoted to chili now we have um, ripened Ripened, I'm thinking it's more ripened, but I could be wrong. It's like this movie shade. It's like a updated version of Girly by Mac or like um what's that other one called? I forgot you guys. So that's that right there. Next up we have Fall in Love, which is like this bright pink. It's like a blue pink. You can see like the blue undertone in it. Super, super pretty. That's really nice. This reminds me a lot of um, Max Up The Amp. This is called Lens Blur. It's like a magenta shade. It's beautiful. Right there, super pretty. Next up we have Work, 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 which is a red shade. How gorgeous is this red? It is stunning. Um, let me use this finger. I'm gonna apply it right over here and it's a vibrant look at that you guys It is stunning and the last shade is called give a glam, which is just like this deep I don't know if it's a brown or a, like a plum. I'm gonna see Yeah, it's kind of like a cool tone brown has great like undertones in there as well. It's super pigmented. So here are all the shades. Hopefully you guys can see them. I also wanted to mention the packaging on this is so like luxe because it has like that rubber matte type of finish to it. Just like the powder kiss lipsticks, the original ones. I really, really like this. I'm gonna start off with this shade called What Clouds. So it's a soft brown with my MAC to 24 very lightly now I'm gonna grab this shade called so hot right now which is this kind of corally orange shade same to 24 Sorry if you guys hear the AC, but it's really hot in here. So um, this is devoted to chili. Now I'm gonna grab the shade Work Work Work, which is the red one. All right, I'm gonna grab the shade Strike a Post. It's 
just gonna go back in with the 224. I'm gonna grab the same shade. That's a lot. I'm gonna grab Devoted to Chili with a 283 from MAC, but this time I'm gonna use it wet. Alrighty, you guys, so finished with the um, entire look, except for the lips. I'm going to be using Cork Pencil by MAC for all of the lip shades. So I'm just going to show you the swatches because I don't want this video to be too long. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of blah, lip colors in here. So we're just going to get right into it. And at the end, I'll let you guys know my overall thoughts on the whole collection. Alrighty, you guys, so we are done with the swatches, with the eye look. My lips are raw, they are on fire, but we did it. All right, so I just wanna give you guys my overall thoughts on the whole collection. So starting off with the Powder Kiss shadows. So there's a total of 10 shades, they're all matte. The formula is just very 
let me make sure I don't have um lipstick on my teeth but yeah the formula is very velvety very very soft um it's completely different from the regular matte formula from mac so um it's a lot softer and it kind of um creates this blurring effect so in my opinion because i tried using the shadows in different ways like i applied the shadows with different brushes i tried you know the regular just swiping motion stamping them just tapping them and i just feel like these shadows are great for like beginners um, or just very simple type of look just because you only need like a little wash of color and you're done. I don't think these shadows are like the best for creating super like defined looks just because the formula is so soft and so silky. When you start blending the shadow, it starts to kind of like smooth out on the skin. So you kind of have to pack it on a little bit more than a regular matte shadow from MAC. I personally really like the formula. I just had to figure out a way to um, use them without my um, eyelids looking washed out. You know what I mean? Even though they're very pigmented, but I'm just saying like, you guys saw I was using where I said the same to 24 brush the whole time. I just feel like these shadows are great for those very washed out, diffused, blown out type of looks, just like one shade will give you that beautiful like monochromatic look if you're going for that or if you want to use them as liners I, you guys saw i wet the brush and they work really well re excuse me really well as liners they almost um become like cake liners when you wet them so i highly recommend that you guys use them wet as well for liner but um if you're going to use them obviously dry just try to use fluffier brushes in my opinion um, or try patting the shadow to really get like that bold pigmented look but overall I really like the shadows my favorites hands down have to be all of the warm tones so the shade so hot right now I think this is stunning uh, devoted to chili stunning as well um, the red one this one was amazing work 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 the strike a pose as an all-over shadow is a beautiful and then the uh, what clouds reminds me of like soft brown kind of like saddle I would say like saddle but like a softer version and all of these shades um, that are like more pinky mauvey are also pretty I really like this one the fall in love but my favorites are obviously the warm tone shades so I do recommend the shadows but again, I feel like um, these are more for like very quick type of looks, just very simple looks. They are beautiful. My camera's about to die, guys, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys uh, my favorite um, in terms of the lips. Obviously, all of the warm tone shades. So, um, sorry, not sorry, mullet over, um, cross fade, uh, resort, what's it called? Resort Season, a Max Smash, which is the red one. Got a call back, a little tamed, model of duty, um, make it a make it fashion and devoted to chili. Those are my favorites. Pretty much almost all of them, but not all of them. Those are my favorites for sure. Like I'm obsessed. The one that I have on right now is this one called uh, make it make love to the camera which I really like but I purposely left it on just for the eye look I feel like it goes well but these are like my fave um, I'm gonna leave swatches at the end of the video you guys just because my camera's about to die but the formula of this lipsticks is amazing um, if you guys want to know like the difference between the regular powder kiss lipsticks compared to like this one so I'm gonna show you this one's called um, style shock and then this is um, the Resort Season. Two different formulas, two different shades. Um, I just personally feel like both are amazing. Both are comfortable, very like um, pigmented. And I love the fact that you can wear them as a blush if you want to. Like you can always just apply a little bit to get a little tint of excuse me color or build it up if you want a bold, more bold type of um look so i feel like this are pretty great for everybody whether you're like a full glam type of girl or you're more like a natural type of girl if you just put a little bit of this in the center of your lips i'm telling you it's going to give you that nice tint of um color without making you look like you have like you know 
like a bright neon orange on I just think that they're worth it um, I highly highly recommend especially especially the warm tone like uh, natural everyday shades and even the bold shades like the orange the reds the purples they're beautiful they're very very nice I'm really impressed with the whole collection I think Mac is um, going back to the basics and I appreciate that just because it's like sometimes trying new things can be tricky but I feel like this is what they're known for and all of the shades all of the colors the formula is on point so highly recommend to you guys like i said i'm gonna be leaving you with some swatches of the shadows and the lipsticks um the liquid uh lip colors is that what it's called yeah the liquid lip colors and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please for uh, don't forget to check the description box below for all the product information follow me on instagram at simply diana j and i will see you all in my next video bye beauties